Hey guys, welcome to This is El Paso, presented by Visit El Paso. My name is Lauren, and we are at a very special place today, one of the coolest places, I think, that makes El Paso. This is Franklin Mountain State Park. Um, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about the parks themselves, a little bit about the history. Uh, we're gonna check out their new visitor center. Um, and you should definitely come out, check it out. They have day passes, they have night over camping kind of stuff. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff to check out. Lydia Pagel. I am the park interpreter or park ranger uh, here at Franklin Mountain State Park. I do a lot of uh, education, outreach, uh, different tours, uh, work on creating content for the park and educating people about the park. Uh, Franklin Mountain State Park is one of the largest, it is the largest urban wilderness in the United States um, and it's kind of a large arrow straight pointing towards the heart of El Paso. We have a lot of different access points. This is the Tom Mays unit, uh, which is just north of Trans Mountain Drive. Uh, on the west side of the mountain, we also have access points in the northeast from Chuck Heinrich Memorial Park, uh, Roundhouse Trailhead, and La uh, Lazy Cow Trailhead. Uh, in the uh, kind of further south, we have, uh, you can access the park through a Lost Dog Trailhead. On the west side, we've got Thousand Steps Trailhead. So there's a lot of different trailhead access points around the park which makes it really unique because you can kind of no matter which side of the, the city you're in you're usually about 15 minutes away from the park um, at the farthest. Franklin Mountain State Park was um, sort of formed in 1979. Uh, in the 70s, uh, there were a lot of, this land was owned by developers, um, and there were a lot of developers who owned a lot of this land and were interested in building on it. Uh, there was actually one developer in particular who had actually flattened the top of North Franklin Peak. It's actually shorter than it used to be. Um, and his plan, I've heard various different stories of that. He's gonna build a resort, a, personal vacation home, uh, wilderness park, all sorts of different things. Um, but when activists saw that he was actually bulldozing a road up to the top and actually flattening off the peak, they realized that this, all this property, all this mountain, which is so iconic for El Paso, is privately owned and could be bulldozed. And so they really pulled together, formed the Franklin Mountains Wilderness Coalition um, and petitioned state and local government uh, to protect this land. And they succeeded in 1970 a bill was passed by the Texas legislature forming this park and then in the subsequent years they began acquiring that land and purchasing it from the various land owners and over time we've acquired more pieces of land and built it out over time. Franklin Mountain State Park is almost 27,000 acres uh, of land. It's like we said earlier, it's the largest uh, urban wilderness in the United States. Um, and also there's a lot of different access points to it. So it basically runs almost from downtown, both sides of the mountain, all the way to New Mexico, the state line. The mountains themselves are what's called a tilted fault block mountain range. It's a very iconic a type of mountain for this region um, and continuing on a little bit into a little bit more of eastern Texas, but still in west Texas. Um, because of that, we have a lot of different sorts of ecosystems. Um, so we've got the lowland areas of the Chihuahuan Desert. We have kind of the transitional space up the side of the mountain and all of the various different arroyos and springs and canyons associated with that. And then the mountain itself provides a very unique uh, ecosystem as well. In order to enter the state park, you do need a day pass or an entrance permit. Uh, at, for Franklin Mountains, it is $5 per adult, 13 years of age and older. Um, and you can purchase that day pass either online at texasstateparks.reserveamerica.com and you can do that ahead of time or the day of. Or if you're coming to the Tom Mays unit, you can come, go ahead and park and come inside um, and then purchase your day pass in our new visitor center, uh, which we just opened this past summer. For people who come to either this state park or other Texas State Parks very regularly, um, where there's also a Texas State Parks annual pass, which is $70, and it waives that entrance fee uh, for the pass holder and anyone in their vehicle up to 15. Well, uh, I hope that you come out to the state park, uh, visit us soon. Uh, you can also follow us on uh, social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
Thanks again for joining us on This is El Paso. Come check out Franklin Mountain State Park and all their affiliated parks around El Paso. Um, they have a lot of beautiful scenes that you can go out to. I love the one, uh, Thousand Steps Trail. It's awesome. Um, but if you come out, remember, get a day pass ahead of time. Pack lots of sunscreen and some water and enjoy your, your weekend. Um, we'll see you next time.